I created this SQL query that combines data from Snowflake with BigQuery. And if I would not have told you this, you would have never known. One of the big problems for companies is that data lives in silos. BigQuery, Snowflake, Postgres, Teradata, MS SQL, MongoDB, whatever. Now, if you want to combine this data, then usually the only option we have is to extract it and put it into a single data store, basically running ETL jobs and duplicating data. That common store might be a data warehouse or a data lake where you then set up a lake house with, for instance, AWS Athena, basically turning files into tables that you can query with SQL. But ultimately, it would be better to just keep the data where it is and find a way to write federated queries, meaning queries that combine multiple data stores and their data. No ETL, no data swamps, and no duplicating large amounts of data. Because I'm an engineer, the CEO of Setaris asked me to try out their platform and show it to you if I like it. So here's what I experienced. Okay. The data set we're using is an e-commerce data set that I found on Kaggle. I'll put the link in the description. To make this interesting, I split it up to have the customer and seller data in BigQuery and everything regarding the order is in Snowflake. First, we need to set up BigQuery and Snowflake as virtual data sources in Setaris. For that, I went into the SQL workspace and added Snowflake. That was pretty straightforward as I was able to work with the username and password that I set in Snowflake for my user. Then I did the same thing with BigQuery. Now with BigQuery, you create a service user and get a token for access. So first I had to figure out how to add the token to that form here. That was actually quite easy and the Citaris documentation helped me a lot here. All I needed to do was to upload my JSON file that had my token to the NDP file systems key trust store folder. That was it. With these connections, I could actually get going on my federated queries journey. Remember, data stays in the systems. Citaris automatically selects the right tools like Presto, Trino and Spark, depending on the query. To make life easier, I went straight to the virtual data mart section and created myself a data mart. Because I'm great at naming things, I just called it mart. I know. To actually fill that data mart, I switched to data sources, clicked on BigQuery to see the tables, and then dragged each table into the data mart. Customers and sellers here. As you can see, Sotaris is then going to show you the tables and their attributes. Of course, we have to do the same thing with the Snowflake tables. So I clicked on my Snowflake database and dragged the tables, orders, products, and order items into the mart. Then save changes and the data mart is set up. Now let's run our first federated query. The one I showed you in the beginning. The idea here is to join the tables together to find all the items purchased from the seller with the information about the customers and more. Of course, we can also run a distinct query just to show the customer IDs of the customers for the seller. And we could have run this query without the data mart just by joining the Snowflake and BigQuery tables directly. But if you're a data analyst who only uses this data mart, you have no idea that you are actually using BigQuery and Snowflake together, which I find pretty cool. And you see, here are the results. I know, I know this is a simple example. If your mart gets really complicated, then you can go to data lineage and actually see exactly where the data is coming from and which tables you are using. Click on the data mart and see all the tables. Click on the data store, see all the tables there. As you can see, BigQuery actually has three tables here. When you click on the connection, you see that we didn't use the e-commerce table as this is another data set that I have in there. Of course, you can also create views. Here I went to the query builder and created a new container, which I called my underscore view. I know my underscore view, oh, great naming again. And then I created the actual view V underscore orders. To add the data, I just went to data sources and again, 
extract my tables from the data mart in there. I'll link the order ID attributes and set it to use all columns. You can see it uses an inner join here, but I could have also configured it to use left or some other outer join. I use the tables of the mart here, but of course, these federated queries also work if you manually join the tables from Snowflake and BigQuery in your SQL query. But I think this is a way more smooth way of doing it. In my select, I wanted to focus on a specific order. So I went to the left of the view section and I searched how my column is named. That's it. Run the query and get the results. I mean, right, that's awesome. No more ETL, no more moving data around. I would say this is the next level replacing the lake house. Could the interface look a bit better and be a bit more dynamic? Yes, of course. The drag and drop function was a bit jerky here and there and sometimes drawing the connection between the tables in the query builder were unaligned depending on the zoom that I used. But these are just small things when I think of the upsides of what Citaris can actually deliver. As an engineer, I would love to learn more about the technical details and systems in the background that make all of this possible. Let's see. For now, I'm excited to see where they go. If you want to try out Citaris, I have the link in the description as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.